been a crazy journey, bro, from high school to making it to the NBA. It's been a lot of work put in, man, years in the making. It wasn't an overnight thing. I'm finally, you know, at the level I've always wanted to be at, and I have an opportunity to do something special, man. So looking forward to having a big year three for myself personally, and uh, hopefully I can make some noise and have a big breakout year. And my boy Rondo, gonna go into his senior year at Buff and do his thing and hopefully touch the league next year. So. Oh, man, we just, all we can do is put our heads down and keep grinding, man. It's simple. And let the cards fall where they may. Shout out to everybody being inspired, man. We appreciate y'all. Shout out to Ryan. It was great to see you again on the West Coast. Back with it. better than Ryan. Oh, shout out, yeah, shout out to shout Ryan. Shout out to Ryan. It don't get better than Ryan. Don't say home team. Shout out to Ryan. Ryan. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, I put a camera on you, right. <laughs> right. I think you face it. Would be, man. He, hey, he the big reason I'm in the basketball. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, see, right. I see that head. My job. Hey. Yes. Yes. Yes, get with the movement. <laughs> you know what time it is, Ryan. We back, back and better. This one called Mud Made, though. Shout out our home team. Yeah, we Mud Made. Mud Made. First year player. On the hesitation, able to get to the rim and finish. Just bend. God. That's tough. You hit the circle button. You wanted to score. When you play, does it like your player? Keep the thing ready. Yeah, because that's how we play. So you step back. You just know, you see, these are no plays. I'm just yeah, telling the person go through. They do the wave. Yeah. The wave. I don't go to the rim. I don't know what Daryl's talking about. I shoot middies. <laughs> He's a mid range shooter. Those are, so that's, that 42 is all middies. So answer this question. When you do go to the rim, what happens? Now look at it. If I'm going to the rim, I know I'm going to make the layup. So have you? Can you be? Yeah, I have smoked layups, but I'm just saying I'm not going to the have rim. You no, I'm not going to the rim, bro. Yes, bro. That is a 40 from midi. I'm not going to the rim like that. Look. You get to the look. No. So you don't go to the rim. So if you see a lane to the rim, do you like hesitate? Or do you just like? I feel like I can't get there. I'm not. I'm stop on the dime. You see? I feel like I get there. I'm going to get there. It's not, it's me. It's simple. It's nothing else. Lay him. Man, Rondo, that's my brother, man. We've been through so much, and I've seen him grow so much from when we first met. And just to watch him, like, go from, you know, a little skinny kid, you know, who had the weird-looking jump shot um, to where he is now is just amazing, man. And that's a testament to, you know, how hard he works, especially going into a senior year at Buffalo. I'm super proud of him, you know what I'm saying? I'm super excited to see him kill this year. And uh, I want him to shock the world like I know he can. We start our day off pretty early. I'm up at like 7.10, get some breakfast, some good eats. Then go to Brian, then go lift some weights. This, you know, I need that. For this past week, we've been working out at Northwest Sports Performance. My boy Brian, he's a guy that I connected with last year. And, uh, you know, I really enjoy what he does. I love the vibe and his attention to detail. In there every morning, early, getting it in, per usual. Working on our bodies, our strength, our durability, all that type of stuff so we can be, you know, the best athletes we can on the court. Number one, stay healthy. Number two, like screws and last like five, ten percent out of your body. We go a little bit more movement based and, and nervous system based, just trying to be a little bit more elastic. Just prepping the tendons so everything feeling good for the season. During the summer, I was in Orlando working out. I went back up to school for summer workout. And then I just decided just to come out here, work out every day, be with Nas. I don't get to see him a lot. So I felt like that was the, the right choice and better out here, more focused, and get really good work in. Harder four, harder three, harder two, one. Yeah. We back, man. Yes, sir. They thought we was done. Perfect, guys. 
back, flat chest, high pull. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, two. from Brian, we head over to the gym, University of Portland, and work out there with Daryl. Been my guy since like eighth grade. You know, they took me in when I was a jet, and I've just been with them ever since. You know, I ain't switch up with the same old people. It's good, man. Rondo back in the building. I'm back in Portland, visiting Nas. We out here just working out, so I got to go back to school. So, you know, getting some good work in before the season. It's good, boy. Chilling. How are you? Uh, now nah, I've been out here a couple of times, but first time being out like in this school and stuff. Yeah, I was working out with them like like last week. Yeah, they say you're the best uh, manager. I'm still with the same people I started with, Daryl and Nas. Out here working out. I've been out here about four or five days with them. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Go, bro. Bro, what is he talking about, bro? It's a crime to shoot the ball now, bro. Hey. Hey. High expectations. Most importantly, just enjoy the process and just looking forward to the season. I'm really excited for the stuff I've been working on and show the people what I've been working on. It's real cold, so it's different from Florida, you feel me? But on and all, it's just a good environment to be around, good staff, good teammates. So I just like Buffalo overall. It's just a good community. They always supporting us. So I love Buff. This upcoming season, I wrote down some goals for him. It was 15 points, it was eight assists, it was two or three steals a game, and then 50, 90, 40, which is something he's definitely capable of, which is being 50% from the field, 40 from three, and 90 from the free throw line. And he's done 90 from the free throw line, and he's done 40 from the three point line. So, you know, now he has to put it all together and, and, up, and, over, and raise his overall field goal percentage, but he's capable of taking Buffalo to the tournament and, and making a run and making a name for himself and that school.
Huh? You got my master dog? Already been established. Eight. Here. Good shot. Not down. See, need him. Good shot, boy. We need 44% on his catch and shoot. 44% on catch and shoot threes. We want Nas to shoot 44, 45% catch and shoot threes, and then, you know, the other threes, you know, come in there, but we just want him to shoot good from the three point line because of the team he's on. Chauncey is, in his early interviews, has never side more ball movement. Good pumper. He's gonna get more shots coming his way, and when they come, he needs to be ready to knock them down. And um, you know, Nas, he's a monster. So if he's making shots, the rest of the game's easy, just because you know God gifted him with you know really good talent. He can get to the rim. His handle has improved. His passing has improved. His IQ has improved a lot. I had multiple game winners on my belt. Rollins? Send this up. Anytime. Rollins? Yes. Oh. Come on, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now nah, everybody got amnesia, bro. Great victory around here, dude. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Nah, bro. Yeah. Ryan, they be trying to sell me out. Really the best shooter in the gym, for real. You are? No. Right. Hey Ryan, man, zoom in on the brand, bro. Nah, show him the brand. You know what time it is. Yes, yeah, so get with the movement. <laughs> you know what time it is, Ryan. We back. Feel me? Back and better. Let's wake up. I'm saying, you said one on one. Yeah, now check up one on one. That's cool. Who you got with Drew? Who you got, Drew? Let's be honest, bro. You got Nas? I'm about to cook this nigga. Where we, uh, it's three spots, one spot? I want one spot. Where you going to? Five. Five. It's two fouls pointing or not? Bro, don't start this, bro. One. Oh, 
I ain't, I ain't see none of your feet. Oh. No, That's a good move. Bro, you just... No, bro, I did not foul you. No, I did not. You lost the ball. And to be real, I really the ball hit my foot. That's really why you lost it. Three. Four. Hey. Ah. Game. What are they talking about? And I'm done, Ryan. Cause that's all I had. I knew I was gonna beat him one spot. He only get one spot, not playing no more. He's gonna win the next, it's cool. He tried to beat me all Jimmy's, that shit ain't gonna work, you better go to the rim. He tried to take all jump shots, not playing him no more. He got the next three. Now, you know, working on my legs, calf raises. It was good work. We need Nas to shoot 44% from three this year. We need Ron to shoot about 45. They like going at each other. Ron got the best on the day. All elite moves. They both looking at big seasons. Ron trying to get in the NBA. It's really that simple. They're trying to catch up. Kai and Nas beat him there, so he's he trying to be the last one to get in. Were you taking the Hezzy? No, I've been doing it for a little minute now. Uh, I'm taking it as far as it let me go, to be honest. I ain't gonna stop doing it. I ain't gonna fix nothing that ain't broke, so I'm gonna keep going with the Hezzy. I feel like I'm, the, you know, one of one Hezzy. Like, it's only me that do it, but people starting to pick up on it. They started falling for it really like freshman year. They started falling for it, and then I was like, all right, so I'm gonna keep going with it. They ain't gonna fix nothing, they ain't broken. So then I think people start catching on that I couldn't like shoot off of it. 
So I just I take a shot here and there, and then I hit them with it. So it just messes up their whole head. So and I can do it off of both hands. So. Like everybody asks, like how you do your I can't, I can't really teach you. I can't really teach you. Yeah, you just gotta have that. Um, you just gotta have that swagger about your game. You know, like Daryl be trying to do it, but it's like it's just not for everybody. You know what I mean? It just, you just gotta have that type of juice. And like somebody just don't got that juice, they just got water. You know what I mean? Yeah, the game is not like that. So. so, so that's how it is. That's all it is. It's time to wake up, Ryan. For real though. Talk about how you came from that old whip you used to have too. Oh, oh my God. God. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, hey, well, I know you got a lot. You don't show them the toys, though. From the Honda to the I mean, red. So what y'all trying to, y'all trying to see it real quick? I'll yeah. see y'all real quick. Yeah, sure yeah. Enough. We came a long way from the Honda, so I need to my two big boy toys and my 2021 Dodge uh, Red Eye Charger, man. You know what I'm saying? Got the matte gray on here, you know? I got the custom trunk, you know I mean? with the, I got the three tens in there, so, you know, I gotta turn up, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> got the, got the red interior, you know, the custom steering wheel, you know what I mean? Got the stars in the ceiling, you know, all of that. Came a long way from the Honda, bro. You know, just like the Honda. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, came a long way from the Honda, man. It's, uh, you know, I'm still humble with it, but you know, I definitely worked hard for that type of stuff. And here, it's my Range Rover 2020 um, SV Autobiography. I left some type of milk in my junk, but it's all I got going on, bro. But yeah, man, so definitely came a long way, man. You know, super fortunate, super blessed, man. So that's it, man, that's it. Hey, my boy, take care of his people, man. Take care of my people always. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They not here, I always show y'all, but definitely looked out for the family, bro. <laughs> Shout out to my mother. You know, I love you to death, and uh, I appreciate all the sacrifices that you and my pops made for me to get me here. Um, couldn't have been here without y'all, man. Shout out to my sisters. You guys know I got y'all for life. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all's support. Undying love, man. That's, that means the most to me, man. So. I'm gonna keep trying my best to make you guys proud. And we ain't done yet, baby. Let's keep going. Yeah, I, ain't got, I ain't got much to say, man. All I'm gonna say is just, you're gonna see what's gonna happen. I ain't bailing him out. He talking a little bit too crazy. <laughs> now I gotta just use my, my God-given abilities against him. The same way he uses his, you know? I'm betting a hundred. $100. See, right, I don't talk no more. Right? I, I, I just kind of stay low key. You know, level headed, wins, losses, misses, makes. It's all the same. But I know what I got to do. So, that's what it is. We're going to see. Ron, you got something to say, bro? Huh? Huh? We're going to see what he, you know, if he went back home, learn, improve, you know, watch film, study. We're gonna see what he learned today, see what he can do. You know, this is step, step by step. So we're gonna see what he do today, see what he learned and what he improves on. We're gonna, we're gonna find out. So what's her all-time record? I don't know, I'm up. If I was being honestly about our um, all-time record in one-on-one, -on -one, if we played about 100 games, it would probably be about 90 to 10. Since I've known her, and that's not—that's not me trying to be funny or trying to talk crazy on the camera. Like, Stop lying, bro. but you just lost. Right. Early. Correct. You guys just Talk it. early, so Nas can rip Rondo's head off today. Look at Rondo throw shit. Yeah. 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 Boy said 90 to 10. Jeez, I'm gonna have to I'll give you 25. I'm gonna have to I mean, he said a 300 though. I said every 100 games you win probably 10 times. Cool. I give you. I give you. 25. I'm gonna have to punish you again though. That's cool. That's all I do. 25 wins was cool.
I shorted you on 25 wins, bro. Yeah, bro. 90 to 10, that's, that's not even... That's disrespectful, bro. So, if we played 100 games, how many do you want to do? Right now? No, I'm not saying... You all yeah, I'm games. just saying, I'm saying, we played at least 100 games. How many do you think you won? Like, honestly, bro. At least 60, 70, yeah, 60, <laughs> oh. I bet the hundred, bet the hundred on camera. Are you going? He's gonna whoop him. I like to play for pride. Let it hurt. Brian, bro, this is gonna be funny. All you gotta do is talk a little bit before they play, and it gets real intense. <laughs> This past week, we just been working on our jump shots, um, you know, working on our handles, finishing, you know, just the whole spectrum of our offensive game to be complete players. You know, Daryl's taking, I feel like he's taking his level to the next step, you know, with his attention to detail and, you know, how focused he is on watching film and applying what we need to know for our games individually. You can't find a guy like Nas or even Rondo who like understands the true meaning of loyalty. You know, Nas challenged me to get better at my game and as long as I'm getting better at my game and he's getting better, we're going to continue to be in the gym and do our thing to help him become the best player he can. The only tough part is sometimes, you know, just being away from my family, but we're here working and we're here doing what, you know, we all enjoy to do. Buffalo men's basketball team have big expectations. We all been working, me and my teammates. We've been putting a lot of work over the summer. Myself, I've been putting a lot of work, working on stuff I need to get better at to get to the next level. So I'm just really excited to show people what I've been working on this off season and putting everything really together and having this really good year individually and as a team. Having Rondo here is even better because you know Rondo's gonna bring that energy and you know, we're proving his jump shot as well and just his overall understanding of how to play the poor guard and, and how to get his foot in his door in the NBA. Man, playing for the Blazers, man, it was one of the, you know, best things that could have happened to me. Um, on draft night, um, you know, I, I went later than I expected, but honestly, I feel like it was a blessing in disguise, man, being able to play with a guy like Dame and CJ and have the opportunity to learn from somebody like Melo um, I think it's been, you know, super big for me and important for me. Um, you know, the fans, you know, they love it here. You know what I'm saying? Portland isn't a city that has too much going on, so they put a lot of pride and a lot of effort into supporting the Blazers, and I've received all of that love, so I appreciate them for that. Dame is one of the most genuine guys I've ever met, and uh, I feel like a guy at his level to be as, as real and as genuine as he is, you know, it just means a lot. You know, he's poured so much confidence into myself. At moments, I felt like he believed in me more than I did my own self. I don't even think he understands how important that was for me, especially with me, like, battling through so much adversity in my entire career. So um, I think that's been one of the biggest things Dame's taught me, you know what I'm saying? Just continuing to believe in myself, especially with the work that he sees me put in, you know, just giving me that mindset, you know, when I get on the court, just to do what I know that I can do. You know what I'm saying? Don't overthink, don't fall, you know, victim to the noise and just continue to be myself. You know, CJ's the same way. Melo's the same way. They all instilled this confidence in me to just be fearless, you know what I'm saying? And, you can't, like, you know, like Ray Allen said, you miss every shot you don't take. So just kind of having that mindset, you know, being able to be aggressive, but also be smart. And me just watching Melo, like his focus, his his tenacity when he's on the court, you know, his desire to, you know, get a bucket at any given moment was just big for me to watch. And I appreciate Melo. I feel like he really took me under his wing, just talking to me, showing me different moves, you know, giving me confidence, always boosting me up when I did something well you know, telling me when I did something wrong. And uh, so I think that's super important to have. 
you know, my breakout game, quote unquote, um, you know, I had 30 points versus Milwaukee. I mean, unfortunately, we lost the game, but, um, you know, I try to take something from each game. And I think the biggest thing for me in that game was just to reassure myself that I can do it. You know what I'm saying? That I still, that I'm still that player, you know, that can be aggressive, you know, that, you know, that can do it all offensively, defensively. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's was the biggest thing for me, just boosting my confidence. I feel like as a young player in the league, when you go through early struggles, you kind of question yourself. And for me, I stay dedicated to the work. You know, I never wavered. I never let any of that stuff dictate how hard I was working or the amount of times I was going to the gym. And whether it was ups or downs, I just stayed consistent with my work. And it paid off in that moment. And pretty much ever since then, like, I could just notice myself, you know, start to, you know, go on the right trajectory. I mean, I didn't get the most opportunities, but I felt like when I did, I took advantage of them to the best of my abilities. And that's pretty much all you can do in the league. You know, basketball is way deeper than X's and O's. It's way deeper than misses and makes. And I feel like, you know, when you have a coach that's played at the highest level, you know, especially at the, um, you know, the level of Chauncey, you know, being a champion and being an all-star multiple times, he understands it. You know, I've had a conversation which he explained to me that he's been in every position as a player, from being the last guy on the bench to being the sixth man to being the go-to guy, you know what I'm saying? So he understands all these different aspects, and I feel like by him being able to relate with all the players, he can get the most out of us, and uh, that's what I'm really excited about with him. I took a train to the to the draft day, you know. I ain't never take no train, you know, eight-hour train, you know, cold from Buffalo to Brooklyn. I was super happy, you know. You know, I'm always happy. I'ma clap for him, yell at him, you know. So I was really happy for him to where like how much work he put in and like cause I feel like people don't think people don't know that he put in a lot of work. He sacrificed a lot to get to where he at right now. So I don't think people truly know that and they need to know that. Try to catch me, and I only got one game. Dumb excuses before this one. I'm playing though. You know, we get super competitive. Like he think he, you know, what I mean, he is at the top league. You feel me? He still can't beat me though. You know, they try to get me on the humbug, make me do all this shooting, then want to play me. But no excuses. You know, it been we've been going at each other though. It feel good to go at each other though. It feel like old days when I used to whoop on him. Game two. Naj was not gonna play with him.
Put pros versus Joes. <laughs> Listen, it was all that yesterday though, but really? today is a new day though. I'm gonna go back, watch film, and study. I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> Today's title is pros versus Joes. <laughs> yeah, bro. No, I'm not making excuses. Yes, you was. You should not make excuses before we started. You made excuses before the game even started. We could have played and then did the shoot. So yesterday, when I did my extra conditioning after we lifted, what did I say when I lost? My extra conditioning? Boxing, nigga. I boxed for six minutes after we lifted yeah. yesterday. Okay. Alright. Just say, bro, today not I told today. him he won. I nah, told nah, him nah, you try to, I said, I'm going to watch, go to, back, watch film. Okay, there we go. Ready. That's better. That's the talk I like to hear. But no excuses, though, bro. Y'all yeah. heard him. You heard him before but the game. they was over here whispering, talking about we're going to make him go last, though. What? what? <laughs> That, Today I know that, that was what they never do. said. That he was said Nas, no, it's just I said Nas, no seconds. seconds. That was never said. He Ooh. said Nas, go second. Because I was second. like, damn, 50? Nas, go second. I was like, nah, I'll go first. It's cool, right. He won, bro. He won. I got to be better, though. So we here for it, bro, to get better. All that. Oh, <laughs> I think if you find them, you know, 40 years down the road and they're 60, I think these dudes will still be going at each other's head. It just, we, we, we joke with people when we're out here, we're like we say we're from Florida, we like to compete, but they're both uber competitive. And so it's always fun to watch them go at each other's head. Brian, come on, start baseline. Brian, get on, Ryan. Go baseline, go baseline. Oh, line to line. I can't wait till you lose tomorrow, but I'm gonna make sure you, you touch every line in this. I think the difference with them is they can go at each other really hard and then hug each other right after. It's pretty dope just always watching them compete and then when I get in, I like to throw my mix in there as well. I was in Orlando in 2017, 2018. And then after that, obviously I went to college and uh, you know, my time in Orlando for me, like was big for my career. Um, you know, that's when I started to truly understand the importance of, you know, putting the work in and taking the time to perfect my craft, uh, working with Daryl and Rondo every day, um, you know, what it took to be a winner, you know, winning two state championships at OCP, 
Um, you know, all that type of stuff was pivotal for my career, man. And I just kept applying that as I kept going forward and as I kept reaching new levels. I started first playing basketball when I was, I want to say eight. I played in my first league, a uh, little little league. You know, I was pretty good. I was bigger than everybody. You know, we played on the eight foot rims and I was dunking and stuff. So that's kind of where it started for me. But, you know, I was always athletic. I was dunking when I was 12. So I've always had that natural gift of athleticism. And then it just took time to just kind of develop my skill set and geese in my body. You know, each year I decided to just elevate my game, get better and better. And that turned me to the player I am today. I remember the first time I went inside of Nas' living room, we were recruiting him. You know, his parents were talking to me about, yeah, we just want a scholarship. And I looked at them and I was like, man, he's going to get more than a scholarship. Like the kid, he has a chance to be pretty good. Introduce yourself and where are you from? I'm just here a little. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. I play at OP High School. Uh, six, six, small four for Showtime Hoops. You know, I always watch Kobe, Kevin Durant, LeBron, all those boys. And like, I just knew like, that's what I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? That's where I wanted to go. So when Nas first came over to us, a raw kid, like you can tell he hasn't been playing basketball long, probably about 6'4", long arms, um, had a jump hook, right hand and left hand, a really good athlete. You can tell someone's been working on him a little bit with being a big man. And, uh, you know, I guess they thought he was going to be 6'9", or 6'10", or 6'11", but they were training him for that to dominate whatever level he was playing at that time. The people that have been working with him in the past, they were doing him a disservice by training him to be a post when the kid was actually a guard. His first ranking came after that summer with us, after ninth grade, headed into sophomore year. I think he might have cracked ESPN like the 60s or something like that. You know, freshman year, I decided I was really going to take this basketball stuff serious. And I just, you know, put my head down and decided to work. You know what I'm saying? Every day is an opportunity to do something to get better. And that's been my mindset. Just got to, you know, people like to just work out for a day or two days a week. But you got to do it every day just to stay consistent with it. And you know what I'm saying? When you don't feel like it, you still got to make sure you go and get in there and get better. I feel like it's preparing us for beyond that. When we all go to college and... Like, I never really worked out. I need somebody to say, like, you just keep going. Push yourself so you think you can't do it. But then when you figure out you can do it, you just feel great about yourself. You know, that's why I like it. If I get my hand like a point guard, I'm the best player in the nation. That's how I see it. He showed his abilities and his potential from the first event he ever played with us. Oh! Most bounce on the court. Every time I'm on the court, easy. Kids guarding us by name. <laughs> All right. Hey, who you got? I got Rondo. I got this. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Who guarding Nas though? 3A player of the year. No, that's a good honor. State championship. We got last name Little right there. Warriors on the side. And then we got number one. That was a great accomplishment for me and my team. So you know, that's a moment I'm going to always remember. Uh, right here, they got a poster of me, you know, after I signed my NLI in North Carolina. And, you know, right here, got the McDonald's All-American nomination. Um, I have the uh, the official thing in my folder. That's the official. This year, uh, my dreams came true. Uh, I finally got nominated and selected as a McDonald's American. For me, that's been a dream growing up. You know, it's been my goal since I was a kid, and just you know, it's a crazy feeling like when it finally comes true because all the hard work you put in, you feel like you finally get getting paid for it. So. It's an amazing feeling. Living in Orlando was kind of tough. You know, I was living in the house in Orange Park, but now I'm staying in an apartment, you know, smaller, but I think it allows me to focus more. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things going on in Orlando. It's a, it's a really busy city, a tourist city, so 
You know, it teaches me a lot of discipline just to stay focused and stay in the gym. That's my young boy right here, Kai Jones, class 2019. Uh, you know, this is my, this is my little bro right here. Uh, you know, he's coming out. You know, he's a new player over here, uh, slept on so far. But, you know, he's, he's making his way. Uh, he's getting better every day. You know, I'm rooting for him, for real, man. I think he has a lot of potential. And hopefully, you know, one day he's going to be able to do all the, achieve all his goals, man. He's a really good player. So, y'all you know, keep an eye out for my boy Kai Jones, you know what I'm saying? Ryan Curry might be filming him next. <laughs> Thanks, boy, out of Florida, you feel me? So, you know, just keep an eye out for him. It's pretty dope just watching Kai when he first moved in with me and Nas. I think Kai was 6'6 and 165 pounds. And now I think he's 6'11 and 210, maybe. Just to watch Kai, who really probably made the huge, the biggest jump I've ever seen in a kid that I've worked with. Like, I've had Nas and Rondo since eighth grade. So, like, gradually they're growing. Kai came his junior year. So, from his junior year to being a guy that nobody knew anything about it or even wanted, to a guy that got picked 19th and gets to play with you know, a young Charlotte Hornet core, um, it's pretty exciting. These are just some of the shoes that I like to wear from time to time. Uh, I don't really go out like that, so I don't really, I don't really stress on all that dressing. But, you know, these are what, some shoes I really like, you know, I mess with. Cardi's the Jokers right here, you know what I'm saying? Got the gold, it looks like it's sparkling a little bit. You know, I think that's really tough. You know, they got the Queen right here. You know, in Vegas, they got the car games and all that. You know, I got these from Nations. I just like, I like the colorway of them. It reminds me of Twizzlers, so that's what I call these. I call these the Twizzlers right here. I got the Pure Monies right here, all white. You know what I'm saying? These just, you can just wear them with anything. If you ain't got nothing to wear and you want to go out real quick, you know, most people, you know, we say we love shoes. Uh, these are just a, a small little variety, but, you know, I like, I like all types of brands. I like different styles. Last night, man, we had a game. I was doing all these dunks. I just ran out of ideas, but this is my, part. my boys reminded me I made a bet that I'll go between the legs in game this year. Next year, I guarantee a between the legs in game on a fast break. So, you know, I got the ball on the fast break. You know, I looked behind me and nobody was there. So I just kept between the legs. But I just ran back like there was nothing major though. But well, I was really hyped, but I just ran back like it was like. Ow. He called me in the office to talk about the between the legs. What did he say? Did he just between the legs in game? What's your What's up? <laughs> yeah. I feel like when I was going up like this, he was like, oh, I know. <laughs> That's what he was talking to you about? What well, jersey I wanted for uh, Jordan Brand. Oh. I guess they're not, with their roster, I guess they're not uh, like putting it out. I guess they just emailing people yeah. individually. You have a jersey choice? Yeah, you gotta choose your number. You gotta give three numbers. What number do you get? I chose 10, 11, and 15. For what? Jordan Brand. For Jordan Brand, they uh, emailed Coach Trigg and told him to give me my jersey numbers. So Today? I guess I'm in it. Congratulations, boy. <laughs> Thanks, man. Oh, God. I know I can make it, because when I missed that school, it was in and out. Coach told me if I do that in game, he's gonna call a timeout. 
And do what? Yeah. Celebrate? Yes. You celebrate, man. You would have made that about <laughs> Yeah, I know, man. He's going in right now. Nice, let me jump over you. Jump over? Yeah. Man, come on, Bob. He's not doing it. He's not doing it. He's not doing it. He's done. Wakanda. Come down, man. When we talk about basketball now, and you know he's breaking down some of the stuff that he's watching, like it's just it's dope to see him go from when we first started, he was a center, to now you know being a a shooting guard and a small forward in the NBA. It's just the way he's viewing the game, the way he's looking at it, and the questions he's asking. The stuff he points out, it's just dope to watch his growth. The living situation is totally different than it is now. I mean, we're living in a two-bedroom apartment, just doing what we can, you know, the best that we can with what we had. But now I'm fortunate enough to be in a position where I can live comfortably. I can provide for myself and my close ones. And it's just crazy, you know, how life works. And to have you here, to have Rondo here, Daryl with me, the same guys that I was living with when we had freaking roaches in the kitchen, you know what I'm saying? To have everybody here with me as I continue to ascend in my career is just, it means the world to me. Yes, sir, right? We're getting close, baby. <laughs> We're getting close. Chain. I'm done, bro. <laughs> Tip him over. Tip him over. <laughs> People don't know this, Ryan. This is how we got Nas better at basketball, for real. By using chess. When he was in high school, like his, what was that, your junior year? Yeah. His junior year, we just started playing chess every night to slow his brain down mentally and it helped with his game. Right now, I'm still top dog. Top dog. I'll be back, right? You know what you can't f me in? Good. Ping pong. Right. You wanna go get it in? Son, Alright, you wanna go downstairs? Ping pong? Yeah.
Hey, what about you? Straight to it. So kids going to sleep like right. that. Man. That is my fault. Bro. Yeah. Oh, that ain't changed his diaper, none of that. <laughs> to a lot. You seen the first video? He said, huh? You seen the first video? What first video? I was killing his ass. You only as good as your what? And I won. You only as good as your what? Yes. You only as good as your what? I, your second to last game. Oh my god. <laughs> Feeling good, you know. I come out here, to get some wins, work on my game, you know. Get right, yes sir. You know, I'm gonna come out here, just, you know, kill. That's it. <laughs> I really don't want to be on Nas team. I might be Swiss team talking. He been talking crazy. You feel me? Don't be on my team. The killer be killed. And I kill, as we can see. You know, feel no lie though. You don't. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Time. 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 Yeah, you can't walk in. Yeah, right here. <laughs> He's a little pup. That's what we call a little pup. I don't know why he's chatting like that. I'm just saying. I'm tired. I'm tired, bro. Facts, no cap. I'm 10, you're not guarding me. You're not guarding Rondo. Give me tomorrow.
We had some runs at Clackamas High School out here in Oregon. For me, it was just good to get some running. You know, I haven't been able to have an opportunity to get some pickup or any games, unfortunately. So uh, for me, I was excited to play against anybody. I didn't really care who it was. It could have been middle schoolers, you know what I'm saying? I would have been out there hooping. We had to turn them boys up a little bit. We came out dominating, you know, us three is really undefeated. Anybody that want three on three can come get it. West Orlando, 407, stand up. Am I right here? <laughs> you know what I'm Every saying? time. Like, Every time. Every <laughs> time. 407. <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing pickup all summer, so it was just fun to really play with them and play with Nas. I ain't seen my boy play with my boy in a long time, so it was really good to get out there and play with them. I think they switched up on me. They traded me. I don't know why would they do that. You know, that's what we needed in that pickup, just the energy changed. He took an automatic L <laughs> right after, so so I don't know why they did that. I guess they wanted to turn up the gym a little. It was a little dead in there, so you know I had to go back to cooking knives again. You feel me? Rondo brings that kind of excitement to what he's doing and it just challenges you to bring, you know, you got to meet that or he's just going to walk over you. So Nas met it and then I had a mismatch. So I took advantage of my mismatch and we went from there. And dudes look at me, you know, bald head old. They don't think I can get a bucket, but I've always been able to get a bucket. That's three. That's nice. huh. ah. 
Rondo won the first game, so he started talking crazy, so he got punished the next game. The next six months, we in county jail in Portland when I just did a piece. <laughs> <laughs> I was walking like this on the court. <laughs> hey, hey, y'all put a hashtag in Freedom City. You guys check out Freedom City. Player of the year? Mm. Hey, Bryce, you play against Squaw? Get to it. It was good to get some running and um, you know, we had a good time. It just takes me back to the days we was in Orlando, just, you know, having fun, all smiles, not a care in the world, and just kind of having that feeling where like when you're on the court, nothing else really matters. It was just a really fun time, man, and that's definitely gonna be one of the moments that I remember forever. Yes, sir, Ryan. He's a donkey man too though. Donkey man, I'm a dunker. You know, I'm talking about he dunks. You know, you can record, bro. I ain't finna clean up too much. I gotta be authentic. You feel me? I ain't finna do all the extra stuff. But, you know, I like the fours. You know, I got the T Scots right here. These joints. These right here, one of my favorite shoes. With Uggs? Oh, yeah. slippers, I got a lot of flavors. You gonna just, if you no. come to my crib, you're just gonna see them all over the place. You probably got like 10 pairs. Everybody be wearing them for real. Yeah. These, like, I'm a four guy. Like, I just got all the pure monies. Like, oh my gosh. Oh no, I'm just, I don't know. I'm bringing something in my way. Yeah. I'm trying to think, like, what's my favorite pair of shoes? Got these right here. He pulling out stuff I ain't seen. Oh, different. Oh, these are different right here because they're custom. You ain't never seen nobody with these. 11. This, this is one of my favorite shoes. This color is hard. It's just a classy looking shoe for real. These, the story behind these right here are crazy. <laughs> he tried like, to go the story, over these the story, like he ain't had these. The story. Whoa. The story behind those are crazy. Yeah, yeah. What's the story? So, like, when I was at Carolina, we were about to play top 11 team, Virginia Tech. So, coach come in there, he's like, he was wearing these, right? Yeah. So, he like, we all in there tight. He like, yo, y'all like these? He's like, yeah. Sure. He's like, if y'all win tonight, I got you. Swear. Bro, me and Kobe White combined for, like, 50 points. <laughs> Swear. We, we combined Need for, like, em. 50 points, 15 rebounds, 10 assists. Five steals, like I would have tried to go beat them by too. twenty. We were going crazy. Hey, coach. Need so em. you know, obviously they only make a certain amount. So Roy had called Jordan. 
custom made, though. Custom made. You know, everybody, we all got a pair of shoes. He had to, you know, they weren't making them no more, but Jordan was able to get them to personally each make us a pair. So, wow. That's, that's one of the dopest stories right there. That's a right beautiful there. story, my boy. These wow. right here. So, you want to see fours. These are one of the most rare shoes in the world. You know, every shoe got a number on it. So... These shoes right here, you ain't gonna see people with these. Oh, you know, those are like their boots. Yeah, these are like our PE yeah. player edition shoes. Um, these are one of my favorite those shoes right here. Yeah, you rock all black for I real. love these. I love wearing yeah. black. So yeah, that's it. it just kind of gives me a combo of wearing black with a little bit of color for real. Some more UNC joints right here. You know. Still got them on ice. All the shoes I had when I was in these high school. These are both my favorite colorways, of course. Yeah, for real. And when I was in high school, like, you know, every shoe I had was pretty much, you know, what I got from Adidas or where, you know, what I had. Like, I wasn't really able to buy shoes like that. So, I mean, just, you know, being in a position to now where I can get shoes and, man, it's crazy, man, for real. For real, man, I got a couple, you know, some designer joints. I'm not really into designer kicks like that. Yeah, he's such a humble dude. Like, I don't even be wearing them like it's that. It's crazy. <laughs> Gotta get them just in case, you know, for an event or something like that. But yeah, man, that's the closet. Good you feats. Updated closet, man. Good feats, good feats. Solid feats. Not what, crazy. What was the biggest advantage of going to uh, Jordan School? <laughs> bro, like, I got the <laughs> Jays. I got the, you know, I got the Jays, bro. They got yeah. those. We got the Concourse for free wow. before they released. Um, we got some, like, winter Jordan 9 boots. You never heard of that. No, bro. Like, what? they're snow boots, but they're Jordan 9s. Y'all ever, you ever watch Minutemen? I don't even know what they are, bro. That's it. Y'all some Arctic different. boys. All and, right. like, you know, I got to meet Jordan a couple of times. So, like, that was just dope. I remember that. You remember that shoe, that Gamma? This, those, are, those are the black cats. The Gamma's right here. Man, I remember, boy. That, that oh, put that away. Those are hard, yeah. That was the shoe that got me really into Jays. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. So. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah I, man, that's just some of my if shoes. If you like it, you got it. I got some shoes in Florida. I got some shoes, like, scattered around the house. But that's the majority of the closet, man. Appreciate y'all checking it out. <laughs> right. I call, I'll call in back up. <laughs> breaker, uh, breaker. Bro, you need to. You trying to crunch his ass? No backup. Backup. Made it, made it. <laughs> what is it called? Thorough glove, that's what y'all need to, you know, invest in. If you want some bounce, you see them calves? I'm ashy though, but you feel me? You see the, the muscles. Massage them before we work out and get a good look out there. And shout out to my Buffalo man, my Buffalo guys. They know who they is, man. The real 633. I know they've been waiting for me to say that.
I said no more bullying. Then I said no more bullying. Yeah. Don't cheer for me, bro. Thank you. 
that right? I did. You got whooped. You get whooped. Uh, continuation of last night. What continuation, man? I don't love one game. That was a good game, right? That was a good game. He just made some. This lady never, shit never goes. It's a foul on top of the key, his ball. Yeah, right. Yeah, that was tough. Look at my shoulders and my arms are long, so I can still go like that. Whew. These are the days, man. These are the days that make you better when you're tired. You battle through. Just gotta get through that shit. Way to get stronger as it ended, though. It's not my mage, huh? Is that you me? He really did. Still repping that. Good job, the body armor. It's the first time I met Ryan. Listen, I used to wake up every day from, from like 10th grade to 12th grade and watch every single video. Shout out home team. Wow. It's still going viral. Home team, home team. Still going crazy. It's a lot of, hey, look, it's a lot of work, though. So, I see it. Them jumpers are going in. For real. <laughs> Shout out Ryan. Whew. It's crazy how life goes full circle, man. Crazy. I met you like, what, six, seven years ago? You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, bro. We still, craziest thing, we with the same circle, bro. Like, me, Rondo, Daryl, you, like, it's just crazy how, like, that stuff never changed, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's real love. This shit flawless, bro, bro. You know what? It's From crazy. Florida all the way to the Pacific Northwest, we still out here, man. Shout out to the home team. I was just, right, I was just watching, uh, you right what was the episodes? Did you? I was watching the last yeah, episode when they signed. This was hard. Right. And just to see, like, some of the stuff that was said in that video. I tweeted it, actually. Some Ooh. of the stuff that was said in that video about, like, loyalty, staying together. Yeah. And now we five years down the road, still the same crew. Rondo still taking elbows. And <laughs> still getting beat to the white meat. Like I've never seen Rondo. I've never seen Rondo like tired in my life. Ah, he was gas until yesterday. Like, he got mad energy. He was gas. Y'all was on yesterday. Y'all was in here. Yeah. Got to wrap it up a little bit. A little that was dunking. Up. That's what it was. Nah, that was it was. That's the sick part. It wasn't even dunking. <laughs> that's crazy. The sick part is it was all Jimmy. That's good work though. Yeah, Buffalo will be in the tournament this year. Me, Rondo, and Daryl, you know, we've been we've been grinding. This ain't nothing new. You've been documenting this since we was like, you know, 14, 15, 16 years old. And, you know, I think for anybody watching this, you know, the biggest thing to take is, you know, how consistent we doing, doing the things that we do. You know what I'm saying? We didn't just do what we did to get to where we want to go. We continue to do the same things that got us here. It's the same routine, you know, getting up, doing the same thing, trying to improve my game. You know, we all help each other. We've been working, you know, we putting in work when nobody sees. That's why it's called Ghost. Rondo, how Haitian you is, bro? Your mama and dad or your mama? Or dad? Super Haitian. Super. All the way? Yeah, all the way. Like, all, the like, all the way, bro. Jeez, all the way. All the way. She's so bad. bad. She's so bad. She's so bad. Super ZD. As you can get. That's just cooking? ZD. Is mom cooking food? Yes, yeah, good That's Haitian mom. food. Good food. She's like speaking that Creole. No, only speak Creole. Bro. Real ZD. That's what people need to know. I'm a real ZB. Yeah. Shout out to them Haitians. I'm one, y'all even know I'm one too. <laughs> yeah. We in the cut. Sakpa <laughs> said, yeah. For sure. I'm just African American. Yeah. <laughs> you surrounded by him though. Real. But hey, I'm still out here though. You feel me? Yeah. With my souls though. He speak languages too. Hey. I'm with my souls. You know what I'm saying? Real ZB, man. Cannot discredit where you really from, bro. Yeah. Embrace your culture, bro. <laughs> Super Haitian, all the way, early. These sauce bar and rice. Yes. Real. What's your bone cook up? Oh, eat that hot. good sauce bar and leggy. Sauce bar and leggy. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, that's. Run up crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, yeah. bro, she made this chicken or something, yeah. some rice, yeah. some yeah. hot sauce. I'm already on my way. I'm on my All my mom does. Yeah. You talking about something that's all my mom does. That's all she does, bro. Trust me. Good shot. Nice shot. Yes, sir. My mindset going into year three is just, you know, it's time. You know what I'm saying? I feel like my first two years was, oh, like he has to develop this and work on this and 
he has to get acclimated. And now going into year three, it's time for me to apply all of that and to actual production. And uh, I'm confident in myself. I know that I can do it, um, you know, especially with Chauncey coming in. He believes in me, and I feel like he's going to give me a genuine chance to show what I can do. And, you know, I'm really excited for the opportunity. Yeah, let's go. I've always told people when year three comes around, they're going to see, you know, the real Nas when he has a full wealth of knowledge. He's catching up when it comes to games. You know, his disadvantage early on in life was he just didn't have a lot of games on his belt. Now, you know, he's getting games on his belt. He's getting more and more comfortable seeing the game. He play, His pace has improved. His understanding of the game has improved. So helping Portland, you know, try to get to where they, they want to get in terms of being a championship team, I think, the better Nas is, the better chance Portland has with that because he is a really good defender. He's an active body, above average athlete in the NBA, and then he can really shoot the basketball. Just bring excitement, you know. You know, just my game. I feel like it just, it's just different than everybody's game and my frame and what I do on the court for my size. I don't think you see a lot of point guards like that. And what I just bring to the table, as far as work ethic, I'm going to be the first one in the gym, the last one out, ready to work, you know, ain't going to complain. He's one of the hardest workers I've ever seen in my entire life, and that's including guys in the NBA. And, you know, I'm really confident in his abilities, and I genuinely feel like he has a chance to make it to the NBA one day. However, this pan out, I'm going to just keep working. So I feel like my worth ethic is pretty different and just my frame and how I play. I wouldn't be shocked if he's in the NBA and, you know, on somebody's roster and contributing to a team. Wherever Ron goes, he brings winning. So um, he'll be on some organization. If not, then he'll be playing high-level Europe and taking care and providing for his family that way. excited to showcase what we've been working on this year. It's been a good time for sure. Man, shout out to everybody that's with us, with me. You know, shout out to all my 633 boys. You know, they know who they is. 633, stand up. They know who that is. Shout out to B. I just met B, though. Yeah, I just met B. Great energy. Great energy. Great energy. Great energy. Shout out to Hoff. Everybody's in Hoff. Shout out to Hoff. They knew who he is. We ain't gonna do too much talking, yeah. Right. But shout out this to them boys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> shout out to my boy Kai, man. Super proud. Oh yeah. Of him. Shout out to Kai. My fault, baby Kai. Shout out to Kai. Kai, I'm proud of you, like for real, for real though. 
you came a long way though, bro. Yeah, man. Shout out my boy Clyde, man. Just see his, uh, you know, his overall development from when I met him. Uh, it was all him, man. He put that work in. So super proud, proud of him to see how that panned out for himself. So excited to see him start his career. Man, shout out to, you know, OCP. Shout out to Oak Leaf High School. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that supported us. I'm gonna shout out my boy B, man. Yeah. And I just wanna give a quick shout out to my boy Brian. Uh, I only know Brian for like maybe a little bit over a year now, but uh, he's one of the realest people I ever knew, man. He's a really good friend of mine, really close dude of mine, and uh, glad I had a chance to meet him. I just wanna give him a shout out, man. You know what I'm saying? That's my boy, so. Yeah, man, shout out to the whole team. <laughs> man, I've been watching the whole team since I was little. Man, I had a hard time in school. I used to not like mess with school at all. But like seeing like them wake up every day, like it's inspirational, you feel me? So like the fact that I'm with them, kicking it. Boy. <laughs> boy. It's hard. It's hard. And I'm with Ryan. I had to see I see Ryan. As soon as I saw Ryan, I was like, oh. <laughs> I'm a, like, leave my boys, but I'm a fan. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really, I dig what's going on. It's a vibe. It's a vibe, it's a vibe, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. So, man, that's it, man. So, that's it, for real.